This father wants other parents to learn from his mistake. It landed him in a police cell and broke his family. And it was a pretty easy one to make. I wasn't being nasty or aggressive or anything like that. I was just simply being a parent and that's all there was to it. This father of three, who will call Andrew, hasn't spoken to his only daughter for four months. Do you miss your daughter? Oh, it's killing me. I just want to talk to her, I love you. I just want to give her a cuddle and just tell her I love her and I don't blame her. My hands are tied. It's sad. Yeah, it is. It's, it's really, it's just, it's not right. How far would you go as a parent to teach your child a lesson? Many would agree that a mobile phone can often be the cause of an argument with a teenager. But you'd never expect it to end in criminal charges and land you here to fight your 13-year-old daughter in court. You love your kids and you want the best for them, but you can't always be their best friend. It all started over a missing chocolate bar. I knew she'd taken it. And I said, you've eaten, you know, I know you've taken the chocolate, so where is it? And she, she denied it again. And one of my sons went into the room where she was sitting at the time and um, found the chocolate wrapper. I knew you were eating in your room. Andrew, who we can't identify for legal reasons, says what ensued was a typical teenage tantrum he'd seen many times before. And I said, right, I'm sick of your lies. Give me your phone. Go to your room. And she refused to go to her room. While I was getting her back in her room, she's struggling with me. And she's pushed me and we've both fallen. And then I, there was a ladder and I've grabbed the ladder to sort of um, stop myself from falling. And as I've done that, it pulled across and it smashed the light in the bedroom and glass just went everywhere. And I got most of it up and then she's got up and stormed into the kitchen. And um, on the way to the kitchen, she's cut the bottom of her foot. He went to his daughter's aid and tried to calm her down. She started going off again, wanting the phone. And I'm like, no, you're not getting your phone. She's like, I want my phone, I want my phone. And I'm like, look, you're not getting your phone back. And if you keep carrying on about it, I'll smash your phone. I don't care about it. It's a privilege, not a right. She goes, go on, smash it. So, great. So I've thrown it on the ground. So, as a parent, you've got to follow through. So I did. Andrew is a single dad and blames what his daughter did next on his messy separation. The 13-year-old called her mum and then the police. I've come in while she's on the phone to the Triple O and I end up grabbing the phone off her and I was speaking to the lady on Triple O and she's like, look, put your daughter back on the phone, Rara, I wouldn't even have her listen to me. I'm like, this is a 13-year-old chucking a tarny over her phone. Andrew never imagined he would be charged by police over what he claims was a simple spat. And they said, we're gonna charge you with assault and malicious damage and I said, you can't be serious. And they're like, mate, we're dead. That's what he said again. We're dead serious, mate. When I was in the police station in the cell, I, just, I was just, yeah, I was so upset. I was crying in the cell. I was just that upset that I could not fathom that it had come down to this situation. When Andrew was summoned to a courtroom for a magistrate to have the final word over the argument with his daughter, it seems the magistrate couldn't fathom it either. And he said, this just does not make any sense whatsoever. He said he can't believe that we're even here. There's a complete and total amount of waste of time. There is no corroborating evidence whatsoever for any of the charges. Andrew's assault charge was quashed and he was given a good behaviour bond for smashing his daughter's phone. An act still to this day, he admits. I didn't smash a phone because I was angry or because I was frustrated or anything like that. I smashed the phone because she backed me into that corner and, and so I had to, you got to follow through. Andrew had no conviction recorded, but says there's a lesson for every parent and their challenging teenagers. When you're in trouble here, you cop it. And, and that's all there is to it. Every time she doesn't get her own way, what's she gonna do? She's gonna ring the police. I do feel sorry for the bloke. All the uh, ingredients are there for a bit of a disaster, but I think the magistrate came up with the right decision saying pretty much it was a storm in a teacup. Broadcaster, Ray Hadley. I think many times this is more reflecting a strained relationship between mum and dad, not so much between dad and daughter. Have you um, got any parenting advice? Really think about the situation and you've got to pick your battles. She's a 13 year old girl who's been basically used as a pawn and that's just not right. She, should, she shouldn't have to go through that and yeah, no one should. I shouldn't have to. Tough lesson.